Welcome to Robot Wars and the first heat of our new blood competition. Six rookies to the cut and thrust of the arena. Well, they need to learn quickly how to survive the bumping, buffeting and barging. If you blink, you could miss it, so keep your eyes glued. We've shimmering, sleek, new, mean machines to rock and roll. And we've new, fancy costumes too. Old problems to conquer, like the house robots. The usual balancing act between success and failure. We proud pirouetting and niceties. We pure evil too. And some very good machines letting off steam. Robot Wars, new blood. I'll tell you, it'll set even the firmest of friends against each other. to find the best robotic innovations around. These are robots fresh from the tool sheds, about to enter the war zone for the very first time. Some will take fighting to new extremes. Others will take the next skip home. So, who's up for some new blood? <laughs> All right, then. Let the war begin! Craig, let me quickly tell you, the ultimate survivor of the New Blood smash and crash, the New Blood final champion gains direct entry into the next UK Championships, Robot Wars, the seventh wars. Mind you, there's plenty of slip, twitch cup and lip. What an initiation into the world of robots. Three robots all together in the first round melees in the war zone. One robot has to be knocked out each time. In other words, impress the judges or your history. Here's round one. From Lewis in East Sussex, Terra Turtle. Will this turn turtle or Terra pin down opponents? Meet John, JJ, and Terra Turtle. How would you describe Terra Turtle? Terra Turtle is like an egg armed with a sledgehammer. He's a bit weak, but if he hits something with this rotating bar, nothing's going to stand in his way. And the bar spins right round. The, so bar, the bar spins right round, so there's no way anybody can hit him without encountering the bar at least once. Well, that's what we're hoping. That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> The wheel turtle is surrounded by a 360-degree spinning rotor arm with axe heads. The body frame is box section, the sides covered in aluminium plate, but the top is decorative and can be crushed. From Stoke-on-Trent in Staffordshire, Mute. Let's others talk the talk. Mute can walk the walk. So, Mute team, this is your first time on Robot Wars. That's right. And you're up against the Terra Turtle That's and right. Rhubarb. Yes. Ridiculous names. Who are you most worried about? Oh, <laughs> well, the spinner. You are worried about oh, that yes. spinner. It's quite hard to get underneath that, isn't it? Well, we... Yes. Yeah. What, <laughs> yeah. In a word, what about the uh, flipper that Rhubarb has? Well, well, luckily, we've got two. Oh. One at the front. Yes. And one at the rear. So you should be fine, then. Hopefully, yes. So, odds are you're winning. Yes. <laughs> if only it were that easy. Wedge shape with front and rear flippers. The armour is polycarbon titanium, very strong design and reliable. But the front flipper opens the wrong way, surely, and they'll have to get in under other robots to be effective. From Bedfont in Middlesex, rhubarb. Could be fruitful, unless rhubarbs are cowardly custard. OK, so what are your strengths, what are your weaknesses? OK, our strengths are clearly our laser-etched panels. Obviously, yes. We've got a new improved flipper. Yes. Um, that works now. Yeah. Um, Weaknesses are the new team. <laughs> the new team, yeah. Um, Who's going to go out first? Terra Turtle. Terra Turtle. Terra Turtle. Yeah. That's who you think's going out first. <laughs> yeah. OK. But are you nervous? I mean, you know, it's all new. It's new blood. Um, oh, it's shaky. 
It's good to be nervous. Yeah. Keeps you on your toes. Okay. So <laughs> embracing the nerves here, the rhubarb team. Has a couple of ramming spikes and a pneumatic flipper. self writes has a polycarbonate shell on a steel frame, but the wrapping paper design can tear easily and also gets dragged onto spinners. Roboteers, stand by. Two teams together then. Rhubarb there on the left-hand side. Joshua Pinto, Lee Simpson and Mark McIntyre. Adam, Daniel and Peter Emmett make up the mute team. And the Turtle Power Boys, John and JJ Frizzell. In the arena for the house robots, dead metal. And Sir Killalot with the pincer and the lance. Three, two, one, Three robots together to survive this first round melee. Terra Turtle in the middle. The shell is decorative. I've warned you about that. Watch for the flame pits and the spikes and just about anything else. John Frizzell, captain, driver, weapons operator, thinking. Mute has flipped rhubarb. You can see the floor spinner has been activated. Down comes rhubarb, straight into dead metal. Mute looks very effective, can get up to 15 miles an hour. It's working hard to get in underneath rhubarb. Rhubarb has a very suspect three centimeter ground clearance that is far too high off the arena floor to survive a flipper. Mute chases after Rhubarb by far the bigger of the machine. Terra Turtle is not self-righted until now. They come down with that mighty spinning rotor arm, not yet really fully working Terra Turtle. And it's between these two, I think Rhubarb and Mute Terra Turtle in trouble. You can see there John frantically trying to get some life into the turtle, but I think their arm is impaled over the edge of the arena cyborg. They could well be immobilized, Terra Turtle. The ref not having a look. Mute very dangerously near the middle. Oh, Mute's gone in! Mute has gone into the back. They were by far the best machine in the melee. Now, was Terra Turtle immobilized before Mute went in? They're arguing amongst themselves. Is Terra Turtle immobilized there? Stuck on the arena, or did Mute drive in first? Craig, you'll be able to tell us the result. Terra Turtle was immobilized before Mute went into the pit. So Mute and Rhubarb, they go through! Now, Turtle team, stop right there. There wasn't much terror involved. Oh, there's a quite a bit for us. <laughs> now, I think they were actually terrified of you, and that's why they went for you. I think that's right. I think they knew that once the axe got up to speed, it was going to bite quite some big pieces out of them, and they were determined to get us before it did. And I was so shocked that you were the first ones out, because you were still mobile, really, and we just hooked over the edge. Well, yes, and in fact, they had one of them had gone, you know, flipped us back on our feet, so we could actually go, yes, we were a bit surprised. We hoped the judges might notice that we were going back and forth. We even made a point of running back and forth, Aww. right, so they might notice us. Now, JJ, what are you clutching there? A piece of the edge of robots. That you ripped off. Do you collect bits of robots? This is my first piece I've saved, I think. Would you like another piece for your collection? Yes. Would you like a genuine Matilda horn? Yes. Well, then we will present you that with our love. And we'll see you back here soon, yes? Yes. OK, there we go. So the genuine Matilda horn. I risk life and limb. From Cobra in East Sussex, Knight Rider. Looks stealthy, but things can go bump in the night. Now, Knight Rider team, I believe your weapon is a first for Robot Wars. Tell me about yes, it. Yes, yeah, we believe it's a first. Um, it's a disemboweler. Nice. Um, basically, what we hope to do is ram the opposition with the spike, and right. yeah. once, once it's actually, hopefully, if we penetrate the armour of the other side, we can then activate a motor which spins this these shards will come out and hopefully rip the guts of the other robots apart and we can pull it out with the spike when we withdraw. Lovely, yes. Yep. Well, robots were never known for their charm. Devastating active spike weapon, then two 750-watt electric motor, ultra-low centre of gravity, six-wheel driven, lost in shape, designed to run both ways up. From Newton Acliffe in County Durham, Maximus. Legions of support for this one, they say. Maximus team, 
First time awesome. here, new blood, congratulations, good to have you here. But look at this weapon, it's really unusual. It comes out like that, yeah? Yes. It's got a spinning disc of doom, which spins at... We can get it up to 18,000 RPM. You see, that is phenomenal. Not even hitting the disc, disc goes around that fast, does it? No, 800 RPM. You could cause some serious damage. Now, another question, very important. Where's Russell Crowe? We're only allowed three team members, Philippa. Sorry, we had to leave him behind. Well, quite frankly, one of you two could have swapped. Got it. They've come, they've seen, will they conquer up to 50 miles an hour top speeds? Has a flipper that also becomes a front shield when it locks. 18,000 revs per minute, that flywheel spinning disc. Mm. From Aylesbury in Buckinghamshire, Mr. Nasty. Very powerful, heavy armour, could live up to its name. Right then, Mr. Nasty team. Actually, you're quite nice, aren't you? Oh, now, who are you most worried about in this? Uh, in this first battle, we're most worried about Maximus. OK, who are you going to go for first? Uh, Maximus. Right. Who do you hope is out first? Oh, uh, Maximus. I think we've got the message there. <laughs> we're aiming for Maximus. I think that's what the Romans used to say. <laughs> Has a hardened steel eight inch long ramming spike, uses cartwheels, projecting both sides of a box shaped chassis. Construction kept extremely compact to allow for the weight of the armour. Let's have a look at the teams then. First, Mr. Nasty, Perry, Dan, and Jack Watkins on the left. Andy Bannerman, Carl Warren, and Andrew Newby with Maximus. And Knight Rider, Paul Burridge, Stephen Oakley, and Liz Stevens. In the arena for the House Roberts, Matilda. With a new toughened tusk. Need any toughening up, Sir Killalot. Three, two, one, two, eight. Green for go then. One robot will fall at this stage. Very tentative. Mr. Nasty there, gleaming, steely, in on Maximus and pushing back to the arena sidewalk. That was determined. Well, they need to do a little bit more of a, a Roman. Around the arena, a roaming, a ro yeah, OK. Maximus in a little bit of trouble. So will I be with funds like that. Mr Nasty on the attack, straight onto the angle grinder and over the flame pit. The pit release has been activated. I don't think there's going to be much empire building from the Maximus Gladiator team, do you? The ref bot, a little shove. Mr. Nasty watches on. We've seen nothing of Knight Rider just at the top of your picture there. Ooh, he needs to avoid Sir Killalot's chomp and get away, but caught Knight Rider. Now, the question who's fallen first? Maximus still active. We can see the flipper moving very, very slowly, but the ref bot making sure and turning away. So is Maximus still OK? And now goes to look at Knight Rider. We learnt all about their gory weaponry, but it's Knight Rider, I think, to fall first. Maximus proved they were still working. Mr Nasty, we know, are OK, and Knight Rider have gone. Well, that's a surprise to me. They had a very horrible-looking weapon, but they didn't get a chance to use it. And Paul Burridge, Stephen Oakley and Liz Stevens, their dream ends right there. Buckled, bent, and a broken dream. Thrown into the air, off the back of Matilda. She never forgets those she has given a piggyback to. And in she comes. At the controls, Stephen Oakley driving the machine. Paul Burridge is at the weaponry. We never saw it, did we? Oh! Well, we see a little glimpse there, but in the claws of Sir Killalot. Just got a little glimpse of Mr Nasty. I thought Mr Nasty looked quite good early on. Knight Rider didn't at all. The ultimate winner of the New Blood Championship goes straight into the seventh UK domestic series. <laughs> Sir Killalot! Fancy down and showboating nearly went over. <laughs> and moves away. Smiles all round. Maximus looked apart.
splendid accoutrements, the armour on the side, the horns, if you like, the spikes, but... Uh, well, what state will they be in, Maximus, when they continue? As they're through to round two. It was Knight Rider in the middle of the picture there, counted out the first. <laughs> Drop zone time! Go on! Four, two... You're on TV! Oh, I'll tell you what, Owens Matilda comes in! We didn't really like that programme, so he spikes it! From the drop zone came the TV. There the replays. In comes Matilda. Oh, <laughs> look at that! She obviously thinks there's too many replays on TV. Didn't like the repeats. Cut it out. How can they applaud after all that? Knight Rider gone. Oh, that was splendid. Knight Rider, they were immobilised first. So, Maximus and Mr Nasty, they go marching on. Well, <laughs> a significant amount of damage. In with damage cam there. What happened to the weapon? The first time disemboweler. That's good for catching television. <laughs> yeah. Is that what you reckon? You're going to get BBC Two on it, are you? We will yeah. now, yeah. I don't think you will. It didn't <laughs> disembowel anything, did it? Uh... In fact, ironically, you yourselves <laughs> seem to be disemboweled. Sorry? <laughs> Do you have any comment to make at all in your defence? Yeah, we lost right. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> on one you side. You lost your minds going in there with that thing. Yeah, it's all fun, isn't it? You enjoyed it? Yeah. Good, so did we. Thank yeah, you made very us laugh much. As well. That was great fun. We laughed a lot out here. <laughs> <laughs> Confirmation of the two robots to fall, Terra Turtle and Knight Rider. Let's see how they line up for round two. Mute against Mr Nasty, but first, Rhubarb against Maximus. Right, Andrew, you sustained a lot of damage, Maximus did, anyway, in that last battle. Oh, yeah, um, we've got a couple of holes in the um, shell. The other shell got totally bent out of shape. We've managed to put it back in the shape, and we're going to go in really strong. Well, at the moment, you're not working. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll get there in ten the out, Ten for fighting talk, though. <laughs> but you will have it working. Yes, we will have it working. We will be in the next fight. OK, fabulous. What are you doing? I'm trying to get the shell to fit onto the chassis because it's completely out of shape. Oh, no. I'll leave you to it then. And go back and interview the opposition, who are Rhubarb. Hello, hello. Hello. Now, you came out of that quite well, didn't you? Yeah, very well. Yeah. Undamaged, as you can see. Completely in one piece, but you might not be fighting a working robot. <laughs> well, I hope we are. No, I think I you hope will we be. Are. They're determined to make it work. Yep. But have you got the power to flip them out of the arena, say? Yes, we do. We've got a very fast acting flipper. It's low pressure, not quite as fast as the high pressure boys, but yeah. it's significantly powerful, so I reckon they'll go flying. And how many flips do you think you got? Oh, we've got more flips than we knew we'll need in the fight. Oh, About 30 yes. or 40. Of course, you can relax then. Yeah. You're fine. Well, we are. Just send them flying, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the melees were a rude awakening for some of our new boys, but now it's one on one. It's round two. Rhubarb. Look comfortable in the first round. See, Joshua Pinto, Lee Simpson and Mark McIntyre. Maximus. Andy Bannerman, Carl Warren and Andrew Newby. Roboteers, stand by. In the arena for the house robots, we have Shunt. Blades at either end. Mr Psycho. Three, two, one, two, eight. Straight knockout now. The winner goes through for the first heat of the New Blood Championship final. Rhubarb in underneath Maximus. Maximus lucky, really, to survive its first round, we felt. There's the camera on board, Shunt. Rhubarb pushing in from behind with the pneumatic flipper. Again, levering Maximus up. You're talking lifting 99 kilos. <laughs> What's Maximus doing here? Well, I don't think in the history of gladiatorial battles they ever sort of pirouetted in the arena of death, did they? Not too sure, in the great Colosseum. 
maybe a bit of a hot-footed gladiator once upon a time did a Fred Astaire routine. No, I doubt it. Over on its side. And Maximus, for me, this is a question of time. Rubov, the stronger. They're just trying to hold on, the Maximus team. They knew they were in peril right from the start. Rubov comes in, trying to lift, trying to toss them away and out of the arena. They've had a couple of attempts. Can they get that flip it underneath the side of Maximus and lift? I don't think they're strong enough, to be honest. They've had a couple of efforts now. Down comes Maximus. Great hinged flipper yawns open. Now they'll have another chance. Go on, Rhubarb, you won't have a better chance than now. Get in and try and flip them out. Not strong enough. Now that could be a telling factor later on. Maximus away to live to fight another day. Vani Vidi Vici. They came, they saw, but Vici Norm Sequitor didn't follow that they conquer. They haven't, have they? Schoolboy Latin for you there. Down comes the blade of Shunt. Just glancing off Maximus. Not really great. Oh, the great hammer blow came down, though, from Mr Psycho. That Maximus armour, though, on the front, it's fairly sound to me. So, they have the basis here to build on for the future, and I hope they come back to Robot Wars. If there's anything left, Mr. Psycho, be charitable. Oh, look at that, buckling open. The lifting front of the flipper. They're going to get counted out now. That flipper locks to uh, form a strong shield. Was never strong enough in this competition, though. Or at least the engines weren't strong enough. Maximus counted out. Rhubarb through to the new Blood Heat 1 final. Oh, and what's that? Hanging from the drop zone, they've seen it, they know what's going to happen. Go on, shut, tear it up. If you don't like the heat, stay out of the kitchen. We're about to turn up the gas. Down comes a cooker. Onto the Legionnaire's helmet of Maximus. That's strong armor, the cooker's obliterated. Bang and bash. And the old oven was smashed. Pick up the pieces. They're withstanding a heck of a lot out there, you know. It's a shame they weren't more active or aggressive. They'll have learned lessons, Maximus. The Roman invasion is ended by the Legion of Rhubarb. Rhubarb through to the heat final. Were you lucky to stay in the arena or unlucky to stay in the arena? Unlucky to stay in the arena. Especially when the cooker got involved. Oh, yeah. Hey, new kids on the block. It was more like new kids on the chopping block, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, you disappointed? No. No. Have you enjoyed your yeah. time in the war zone? Yeah. yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it. Gannon loses. Maximus! <laughs> well, well, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah. I mean, you just came out there, flipped him over. That was um, the plan. And the plan was to get him out of the arena, wasn't it? Yeah, we're going to have to work on that. We, think, we thought we'd get him out, but it didn't happen. It was a powerful flip, but it was like they were half in and half, half out, you know? Well, it's better to be halfway there. <laughs> a few tweaks yeah. to it. Should get out of the arena, next one. Were well, you being very gallant that. there? Because, it, you know, it looked like you, no. you tried to flip them back onto their wheels again oh, yeah, at one stage. Much. We did that once or yeah. twice, and then... Just between them with, like, with, like, a cap. <laughs> I wanted them out. I wanted them out in the arena, but it just wasn't happening. You're quite nasty, aren't you? You're right into this, aren't you? I was well up you for it. You love the car, didn't you? I was up for it. Bring it on. <laughs> Let's hear it. Whoa. Rubob! <laughs> So, Rhubarb through to the Heat 1 final of the New Blood Championship. Next up, Mute and Mr Nasty. Right, Mr Nasty team, uh -huh. just about to go into the arena after this fight that's on now. How do you feel? Uh, OK, not too bad. How do you feel about the confident. opposition, Mute? Um, they've got a lot of thick armour. They've got a flipper on the front, flipper on the back, so they're going to be tough, but uh, hopefully we'll hopefully be able to push them. More weaponry than you, haven't they? Yeah. But are you fast enough to get out of the way? Yeah. Is We're that easy? Push yeah. them. Push them. Bang. Straight across the arena into Matilda, into the pit. 
or maybe turn them into a calendar. Oh, and if all else fails, they can run away because they have got that speed. They're very fast. Can you catch okay. them? Uh, we'll see them wait for them come to us. Oh, really? Yeah. They're going to try and turn you into a colander. Are they? Uh, well, we've got two flippers, oh, really? so we're going to send them out of the arena. Oh, OK. Can you do that? Have you got the power, really, Certainly honestly? Have. Yeah, we've got full pressure flippers. You're not giving me a bit of that? No. Because often people are all mouth when they go uh, in there and all trousers when they come out. No, uh, wait and see. Okay. Flip them out. All right, I will. Yeah. Oh, I'll just do it. <laughs> Thank you. Good Thank luck. You, Nasty. I don't think we've seen the best out of Mr. Nasty yet. Better to come for Perry Watkins and sons Dan and Jack. Mute. Put itself into the pit last time. Adam and Daniel Emmett need to do a little bit better. Big Adam there on the right. Roboteers, stand by. In the arena for the house robot, Sergeant Bash. Get his flamethrower ready. And dead metal. Prepared to close those pincers. Nasty on the left-hand side, Mute dodging away. Oh, frontal assault by Mr Nasty. That's the eight-inch long hardened steel ramming spike. That's good action. Mute flipping Mr Nasty over. Mr Nasty perfectly equipped to self-right with the three mech into the CPZ. Mr Nasty, that's a bit dodgy. Back scuttling comes Dead Metal, but too late. Mr Nasty quick enough to reach top speeds of nine miles an hour. Mute a lot faster, pure. Evil in a box, says the Mr. Nasty Team T-shirt. And up they go, and again flipped by Mute. I was a little bit worried that that front flip was the wrong way round earlier on in the show, but Mute is doing very well here. Certainly, I think, the more stylish and controlled of the robots. No great damage caused, but should it go to a judge's decision, they will mark on style, control, damage and aggression. And on at least three of those, Mute coming out on top in this opening sortie or two. Mr Nasty is worried. This is much better control from Adam and Daniel Emmett, the Mute boys, after the rush of blood in the first melee. Sergeant Bash. Oh, and the ref what? Come head to head. And Sergeant didn't like it. Get out of the way, ref. Referee will have taken note. Oh, Sergeant, you can't do that. Quite right, yellow card, warning. I'd have given him the ref. I'd have a red, I'd have banned it. Mute depresses the pit release. Anxious times here for Mr. Nasty. They have not been able to get themselves into this contest. <laughs> Look at the ref. He's pushing Sergeant Bash out of it. Get away. You shouldn't be out there anyway, Sergeant Bash. It's a real old tussle between the two of them. The house robots having an argument. I love it. Sergeant Bash, look at this. This is great fun. Get away, ref. Go on, put it down the pit. Ref, you've got to come back and have a word. Sergeant, you are well out of line. Back to the ranks. Tear off his stripes. Now, in the contest that matters... We can't concentrate on the contest that matters because the sergeant's chasing the ref. This has never happened before in the history of Robot Wars. Mr Nasty, all sorts of trouble. I don't think two wheels are working at all. It's just spinning around madly. Mute dominant. The sergeant dominant. The ref's in trouble. He's trying to put out the fire. He's put out the sergeant's fire with the extinguisher. A splendid stuff. The sergeant will have to lick his wounds and go back to the barracks. Mr. Nasty will go back to the drawing board, I think. Mute, though. In underneath once more, carnage. Driving Mr. Nasty onto the serrated saw blade of dead metal. The sergeant's still out there. Look at the concentration on the face of Adam Emmett. Mr. Nasty dragged by dead metal. Pure evil in a box, pure ashes. I think cease will be called. It'll go to a judge's decision. But for me, there can only be one winner, and that will be mute. Well done to those two. We'll have to wait and see, of course. And Mr. Nasty watches on. <laughs> and gets away. Cease has been called, they're reminded. Both robots still mobile at the end of that battle. We're going to have to go to the judges while they're making up their minds. Let's review the highlights. Mute was quicker and more effective, flipping Mr Nasty. 
Pushed back by Mr. Nasty, but the weaponry of the Nasty Boy didn't really work for me. Again, another flick by the more controlled and stylish Mute. Mr. Nasty driving itself into trouble. Mute picking up points all the while. Damage caused to Mr. Nasty on the flank pit, but it has to be Mute for me. The judges have made the decision. Style, control, damage and aggression. They've gone for Mute! Um, what, did you, what did you think of that fight then? Oh, it was a bit dull. It was so dull, the house robots started fighting amongst themselves. Uh, oh, we lost one side first. So. Yeah, you seemed to lost a, lost a bit of drive there, didn't you? Yeah. You're just going round in circles. Yeah, pretty much. What was your game plan? Did you think you could take these ones out? Yeah, yeah. we thought we might be able to get him into the pit, possibly. Yeah. But it didn't seem to work out in the end. Just Good. bad luck. Bad luck, that's what it is. Not bad design or bad nah, engineering. Not, not or at all. No. No. Um, how about you? How do you feel? Those robots were particularly mean to me. <laughs> and they weren't that mean. They could have been a lot worse, I tell Holding you. me on that flame pit. Um, well, you are new blood. I mean, yeah. you've, you've seen the robot in competition. Um, what can you do to change it to make it better? Uh, well, I think it's fine. I mean, it all held up fine apart from, you know, the drive went, but physically it stayed together OK. It got flipped quite a few times by Mute, and yeah. it seemed to stay in one piece. So we'll find out what went wrong and come back. OK, good luck, guys. Uh, Mr Nasty! You won one. Yeah, you won one. Yeah. That was dull, that wasn't it? It certainly was, yeah. Your flipper's quite powerful. It is. Is, is, is that a flipper or a shover? I'm not quite sure. It's a flip. We can't get up high enough. There was that lack of grip. We just couldn't get under far enough yeah. to get him. Because the aim was to get him out of the arena, which we can do. Yeah. But, so you don't How powerful is it when you say you can it's get him out of the pressure. arena? It's full pressure flipper. All right. So, uh, it's powerful you, enough. You've got rhubarb next. I know. And they're quite nasty. We've already met them earlier on. Yeah. So we got them, we got a good flip on them once. And they're up for it, you know? Yeah, that's it. They're, they are up for it. They reckon they can go all the way. Yeah. They reckon they're going to have you. Yeah. They reckon they're going to kick your teeth in. Yeah, no problem. Do you think you can have them? We'll get it fixed. Yeah, we'll get it better for the next one. All right, then. Let's bring it on. OK. Ladies and gentlemen, mute! Robot Wars has seen the fall of Mr. Nasty then, Mute going through along with Rhubarb, and that, of course, is the way it looks for the new blood Heat 1 final. Well, quite frankly, I'm frightened. This crowd has been merciless so far tonight, but two new blood have met with their approval. So let's see how they've got this far. In the first of our three-way melees, Rhubarb didn't have to do too much. Terror Turtle was Turn Turtle and didn't recover. Mute looked strong, too strong for Rhubarb there. Will that be a telling factor for the final? Mute on the aggressive, but then rather stupidly drove themselves into the pit after Terror Turtle had been immobilised. Mr Nasty, Knight Rider and Maximus met in the second of our melees. Knight Rider was ineffective, slammed and bashed. Maximus was lucky to survive. Knight Rider found itself on the box. Rhubarb then met the Roman gladiator that was Maximus. Was far too strong for a lucky survivor, but couldn't finish them off. Will that be a telling factor in the heat final? Lack of finishing power. Maximus slammed and bashed by the house robots. Counted out before the drop zone. Mute put paid to Mr. Nasty in the second of our semi-final clashes. For me, this is a controlled and rather elegant performance. Mr. Nasty was full of chase. The sergeant was chasing the referee. Mute and Mr. Nasty developed into a little bit of a kiss chase. But all romances end. The end was nigh for Mr. Nasty on the flame. Pit. So, this is the first of our new Blood Heat finals. Rhubarb against Mute. Uh, Mute may be a little bit lucky to get this far. I wonder what you think. I wonder what Derek Foxwell, the senior technical consultant on Robot Wars, thinks. He's joining me again up here in the Crow's Nest. Uh, are you impressed with the new Blood machines? You've seen them before, of course, in the auditions, but actually in there fighting in the arena. 
Yeah, I'm impressed with some of them. I mean, they've got a long way to go to catch up with the All Stars. Um, they're quite impressive robots, both of them. The, the driving leaves a little bit to be desired, and people get very nervous in the, in the arena. And for new bloods, there's always a, a bit of nervousness when they go in. So there may be a bit of a hesitancy between they, before they actually start to fight. But I think it'll be a very close match. Similar weapons here, both of them. Yeah, they're, they're both, they're both, yeah I, think, I think Mute has probably got the advantage on manoeuvrability, but we'll see how they go. A Mute final on Robot Wars, what, with this crowd baying? No, I'm going to go for Rhubarb. Well, they came, they saw, they gave a right good kicking. But who is going all the way as we let the final begin? Fortunate for me to be here after driving into the pit in the first melee. Adam and Daniel Emmett. Rhubarb. The machine of Joshua Pinto, Lee Simpson, and Mark McIntyre. Roboteers stand by. And in the arena for the house robots, there's Shunt with the double blades. And he's still a sergeant. You, sir, are on a last warning, sir. Three, two, one. Ditch. Rhubarb on the right. Just lifted slightly by Mute, getting in underneath that three centimetre ground clearance. Now, when I went for Rhubarb to win this, I've got to be honest, I forgot that ground clearance. And Mute has already taken advantage and has got the flipper in. Good self writing by Rhubarb. Using their flipper to self right, turning away from Mute. Mute in underneath once again. That had to be their game plan. Wasted use there of the. Hydraulic flipper from Rhubarb! Oh, teetering! Brilliant recovery! That is the finest recovery we have seen on Robot Wars. They're out, they're going out, they're going out. No, they're not, they're bouncing back. That was brilliant. That was like watching a, a high-wire trapeze artist in the circus. Rhubarb now on the attack of Mute, who springs back. Well, this is balletic stuff so far. Mute being pushed by Rhubarb. Mute on its side. Now, if Rhubarb can actually get Mute on its side, I'm not too sure they'd be able to self right like they've just done, springing back spectacularly. Let's have another look. Hopping like a rabbit out there, Mute. Brave as a lion, though. Back on the attack again. Rhubarb turning away. This is a very close final. Trying to push the release button. Oh, on the flame, the release button was to spin there, the disc. Can you see it? On the arena centre, spinning away madly to throw one of these robots off course. At the moment, Mute needs to throw Rhubarb somewhere. Taking it to the arena sidewall, towards the pit of doom release target. <laughs> Coming to you, Shunt. I think we've just retired. That piece of equipment from the arena. We'll get a new one for you. Rhubarb lifted up on mute. They peer away from their control box. The Emmett boys there with mute underneath Rhubarb again. For me, mute have been the more aggressive machine. Would you agree? If it goes to a judge's decision. Certainly, Rhubarb's escape from the high wire was stylish and controlled, but they are sustaining telling damage now, and that could be the turning point of the final. Rhubarb damage, backing away. You can see there the wound. Mute sensing they have the upper hand now. In underneath Rhubarb. Will they survive this first heat of the New Blood Championship and go on to make the New Blood final? In comes the sergeant. There we can see the shunt camera peering into the insides of Rhubarb. I think, you know, that blow that caused the damage to Rhubarb could have made all the difference with the judges, because up to then it was very, very close. Still they're tentative, they manoeuvre away from each other, showing great respect. But in the real heat of Robot Wars 7, should you get that far, the seventh UK championship, Mute will have to go in for the kill, or Rhubarb will far more effectively. They'll have to learn from this new blood affair. 
Two seconds remaining before it goes to a judge's decision. Mute left in peril. Close. And for me, Mute will have it. The judges will decide. And while they're making up their decision, let's see the highlights once again. Mute. Flipping Rhubarb. Good recovery from Rhubarb there. Magnificent recovery there. So good control for Rhubarb. Good style. But it was aggression from Mute in the first place. Rhubarb back on the attack. Mute flip. Mute self-writing. Good style. Mute certainly more aggressive there. But ending up on the flame pit. Mm, this is a close one. The judges have made their decision. You know the criteria. Style, control, damage and aggression. It was a wicked fight, wasn't it? It was a, it was a, a wicked really fight. fight. Was Two wicked. brilliant new robots were very impressed. So were the judges. But they were more impressed with Mute! <laughs> Guys, again. Um, they, kept, they kept getting underneath you. And kind of try, I think their plan was get underneath you, feed you. To the seat, to, to, the, to the hatch robots and the CPZ, yeah. you know. Killed us. Um, we, did, of, yeah. we weren't going out the arena, though, so we proved that by flipping back off the wall. I know, but they nearly had you out. Nearly had us out, nearly had us out. A great self writer, a great flipper. Yeah, 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 yeah. stayed on our wheels it's most of the time. When, now, when it stays straight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I mean, the, the judges were looking at the damage as well. You know, you've got a bit of damage on that flipper. It's a bit yeah. kinky now, isn't it? You know? We're pleased to go out to a decent robot. Yeah. yeah. A no, great robot. Yeah. You're not guys. Me. Well, you <laughs> told me you told me before that you were going to have everybody. Have it. Come on. I did. I want have it. Everybody. That's what Robot Wars is all about. Come on, bring it. We'll bring it next year. Yeah, you'll be veterans next year. Um, have you enjoyed it? You're glad you got involved? Fantastic. Hey, it's a bug, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's addictive, isn't it? It is. Let's hear it. What a robot. Rhubarb! <laughs> <laughs> Wicked. Was I right with that plan? You're trying to get under them and just like feed them to the lions, is it? Uh, well, we lost, we lost the front flipper, low gas pressure. That's what I was thinking, because you, because you, when you were getting them on your back, yeah. you weren't sort of flipping them off anymore. That's it. We've got barbs on there, so once they get on there, they can't get yeah. off. But we lost the flipper anyway, so one flip off them, and we can solve for it. So right. that's it. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. If they flip you over, you, you've got to be so out of the game. It's then, a merry dance. You? That's why we were dancing. Yeah. With it, so. You won the heat yeah, final. We did it. Yeah. You're into it. You're into a final now. Yeah. Any adaptations now to make it better for? Just charge those lucky batteries. That's the lad. <laughs> OK, come on, let's give it up for Mute! If you think these new robots are not as good as yours, put your money where your mouth is on Robot Wars. Bye-bye. Well done. Robot Wars, the second heat of the New Blood Championship. Thor's Hammer, yeah, but we got Mr. Psychos and plenty more besides. New Blood Heat 2, it'll be spiky.